static inertia. A parked car remains parked if left alone. Dynamic inertia. Jumbo the elephant smashes into the back of your parked car. Jumbo is sorry, but your parked car is no longer parked. It's moving. If not for the friction twixt the ground and your car's tires, plus air resistance, then your car would just never stop. And we don't know why. So we give this ignorance a name. We call it dynamic inertia. If your car heads down a hill, then it's going to gather momentum. Gravity provides resistance to upward motion, and resistance slows things down, like current in a circuit. Torque is a twisting force exerted on an object. This twisting also generates resistance and heat. The tires and the road create friction. Friction creates heat. Friction slows things down. This is a piston. It slides up and down in a cylinder. This sliding motion causes friction. Smooth surfaces reduce friction. Oil will even further reduce friction. We'll start talking more about pistons and engines now. This is Hoboken Gare.